Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to show you very quickly how to construct this interactive dynamic histogram, as they call it. If you recall, as we recalculate the Monte Carlo simulation, the uh, histogram changes to reflect uh, the output. And the green indicates that we're going to manufacture the decision. The red indicates we're going to outsource, and the colors of these bins change depending upon the results of the Monte Carlo simulation. And it's really pretty easy to do. Let's look up here. This is the data that you normally create in order to build a histogram. What I didn't show you in the other video was that I have two additional columns out here that are actually feeding information into the histogram. And one column I've labeled manufacturer, and that means if the upper limit of the bin is less than zero, that means that the value of the, the difference is, is negative, then I want to show the, the uh, frequency for that particular cell. That says if P2 is less than zero, the upper limit's less than zero, then I show this value R2. Otherwise, I'm going to show the NA, the NA, which is uh, a static function, and it just returns a null or nothing if it's chosen. In the second column, I copied that down, and then the second column, I want the, the flip side. If P2 is positive, the upper limit on the bin is positive, then again, I, I want to show the relative frequency, but if it's not, then I want to show an NA. And so you can see in these two columns, over here, the upper limits are all less than zero down to here, and so we show the actual value of the frequency there. And then on the flip side, on the outsource side, when they become positive, we show the values in this column. And that's just using these two if statements. And the only difference is, is the upper limit less than or equal to zero, or is the upper limit greater than zero? Once you have those columns calculated to create your histogram, all you do, I'm going to select this upper limit, hold down my control key, and then select these two columns. And then I'm going to go over here and insert a chart, and you will get this funky looking column chart initially. And that's not really what we want totally. All we need to do is to click on one of the columns, right click, format data, and we'll get this. We want to set the gap to zero, and then we want the overlap to 100%. And that's all there is to it. That creates the, the basic dynamic histogram, and all you've got to do is do your editing chart title um, in order to turn it from this into that. You have to change the color, of course, but that's all there is to it.